I think in biology the whole problem is finding a good problem. And a good problem is one that is interesting, is difficult, but doable. Doable within a reasonable length of time. You've got to be able to make show that you're making progress, otherwise nobody's going to give you any money for it. And the, I think an interesting question today is how many problems are there out there like that? I mean, you know, when I started out, everything was a problem. We didn't know anything at all, so it was great. You could really uh, do almost anything you wanted and it would be interesting. And um, that may not be so true today. You know, it takes longer to, you have to walk further to get to the frontiers and then and find out problems. And things that are really interesting questions like, you know, what is the nature of consciousness is a good example of a very bad problem because it's not very well defined and you wouldn't even know when you'd solved it. And I, you know, sometimes I like to ask people, so when would you stop working on whatever it is you're working on? Because that would tell you that you actually had a defined goal. You know, you, there was a central core of a problem where you needed to understand what was going on, where you could say, you know, when you knew the answer, bang, that's it. And now I know the answer, I could, I could stop and, and move on.